Linux is a great operating system, but one area where it lacks is battery optimization and at least for me has overheating issues. So what we can do is we can use a tool called TLP and TLP UI to uh, optimize the battery and uh, we'll use some tools to monitor the temperature of the CPU, GPU and the hard disks. To install TLP just run sudo apt install TLP. I've already installed it so I don't need to do that. Next you need to run sudo TLP start and it has started okay next thing you need to do is install TLP UI why we have to install TLP UI because TLP is a CLI based uh, application and it gets really complicated so it's better to get a GUI so for that we need to uh, ins uh, add a repository and that we can do by writing sudo apt add sorry it is add apt add apt repository then I'll paste in the repository press enter again press enter the repository is added so now run sudo apt install tlp ui tlp ui is also installed now if you are using the older version of ubuntu then you need to run sudo apt update before uh, writing sudo apt install tlp ui now we can open the application TLP UI so all the basic settings uh, for TLP UI are good enough you don't have to modify them if you don't need uh, if you don't know what you are doing but the options are always available so you can try some settings this is an option only available for ThinkPad uh, laptops, for Lenovo ThinkPad laptops. So if you have that, then it's better for you. If you want more information about the settings of TLP UI here, then I'll add the link to the TLP website in the description. So that is all about uh, opt optimizing the battery. Now we will install uh, LM sensors to monitor the temperature of different components. For that let's close this and open the terminal. The terminal is open. Now type in the sudo apt install lm dash sensors. It will take some time to oh it was quick. So it is installing. Next run the command sudo sensors dash detect to let it detect all the sensors uh, it says that yeah I'll go with yes because they say it's safe so it must be safe trust them why usually safe so I'll press y Y again why do I have to press Y for each one I'll let it add the lines I don't want to type in so unless it says that it is not safe you can press Y uh, I have uh, used it uh, earlier and I have pressed Y and I did not face any problems so next if you want to see the temperature on the terminal type in the command sensors 
that's all and you'll get the temperature but this temperature uh, is taken at a particular instant and if you want the dynamic one then you can always use the watch command watch sensors if you want it for per second let's keep it per second so it will update every single second and you can uh, use this to see the temperature but if you want the temperature to be shown on the gnome panel then you need to install uh, an uh, extension gnome extension and i've already made a video on how to install gnome extensions so you can uh, refer to that i'll put the link in the description and let's close this one with a control c interrupt now the gnome extension that you want to install is called freon i'll post the link so this is the gnome extension freon there's another gnome extension called sensors but that will work fine with older versions of ubuntu but with 20.4 it has some issues so don't use that on 20.04 since I have already downloaded and installed this extension, uh, I will just uh, enable it. So just go in and type extensions, press the super key, type extensions. This free on here, uh, this is the extension that will show. You can see the temperature over here. Now, if you want to change the settings, here is the settings. Uh, it decrease the time if you want uh, frequent updates and change the unit but who will want a degree Fahrenheit uh, so that's now if you want to see the details just click here and if you want to see the temperature of the hard disk then you don't need to install anything there there's a built-in uh, software called disks press super type disks okay and sorry this is yeah this is the software you can see the temperature here 45 degrees celsius and 113 degree fahrenheit but for all other temperatures and even the hardest temperatures are also mentioned over here so that's what uh, also the average and the maximum temperature so that's how you optimize your battery life and uh, monitor the temperature of your cpu so that's all for this video